This is a video about the NTI high efficiency boilers. The one shown here is the T series. Specifically, this is a T150, 150,000 BTUs. And in the, they are wall hung high efficiency boilers. This particular one is first generation that NTI put out. This one is the TI series, TI. And it's the second in the generation of high efficiency boilers that NTI put out. And it's similar in size, a little deeper front to back. And I'll take the covers off here in a second and um, kind of show you what they did to uh, change them. Uh, there's been two or three generations since these and um, but these are just for the uh, T and the TI series. So what I wanted to show you on the old T series is that there are water connect water connections are right in the rear and there are two three quarter inch pipes coming up the back and they attach with a um, Oh, kind of some sort of compression. There's a gasket in there with a nut. Um, very small tubing. Very restrictive. That's why you had to pump the heck out of these boilers, just to get the water through them. Because the openings just weren't very big. And so we always had to use real large pumps on these boilers. The TI series has the water connections on the side. And they're much larger. These are actually one full one inch ports. And so uh, much easier to run the water through them. Uh, this, uh, this new one had the exhaust on the, on the top and the air actually came in on the bottom. I'll show you that in a second. The older ones, they both came in the top. And I'll show you those in a second too. Anyway, this boiler did not actually fail. It was put in, in in 2004, and a couple of years the a couple of years ago the house had fire damage, and so this boiler saw a lot of water. And uh, so the uh, insurance company, as when they rebuilt the house, um, we put a new boiler in. We actually put the TI series boiler in. So this actually never failed. It was still in service. This one was only seven or eight years old when I took it out. It had a leak in the heat exchanger, and there's just nothing you can do about that. When the heat exchangers go, time to replace the boiler. Out of all the boilers I've installed for the NTI, and there's been, I can't remember, dozens of them, this is the only one I had that had a failed heat exchanger. None of these others uh, have uh, had had problems with the heat exchangers. It's the old Giannone style heat exchanger. And uh, for the most part, they've held up pretty well. So anyway, I'm going to uh, flip these over and take the doors off. And we'll take a look uh, inside. 